So let's talk about healthy relationships, friendships, right? And this is going to be all about compromise. Any relationship, any effective relationship requires compromise, requires adaptation. It's about sharing a responsibility. It's about working together. And a healthy relationship. So let's say, for example, this is me. Right? This is what I want is a healthy relationship. So I want to fit into this box. And this is somebody else's box that I want to connect with. So I've got some sharp edges. Right? And these might be my bad habits, my poor traits. Maybe I'm too demanding. Right? Or um, maybe I uh, have like really high expectations and I'm strict about those things. Maybe I have a temper tantrums. These are the square points of this box. And a healthy relationship does not invite those other traits. So fitting into a box is not always about when, when you shave your edges, it's not about you're losing something and you're less of a person. You could be losing edges to become a better person. So to have this healthy relationship, you can see these corners on this diagram don't exist in this healthy relationship box. And that is okay. So that's kind of where the compromise element comes in, is understanding that there are there's always compromise and adaptation required for any relationship to grow effectively and be mutually beneficial. And sometimes you have to shave off some of those points to, to highlight and develop the better parts of you. Like, I mean, let's take an extreme example. Uh, criminals, right? People who were imprisoned, who spent years and years in prison, who now need to be rehabilitated into society. Well, many of the things that they did in prison or how they resolve conflict might not work in everyday society. So to fit in, they will have to change parts of themselves. But are those parts actually worth changing? Is it a benefit? Is it a growth for them? So there is a change. There is a shaving of the edges. There's a becoming a little bit less to become a better and bigger you. And that result when you do make those compromises, when you do make those adjustments and adapt, you have an authentic, mutually beneficial relationship that's full of appreciation and support that invites you to be you and develop the better qualities of you. Is there a difference between compromise and adjustments like to fit in? So compromising would be, I think an adjustment lines into the compromise. It's like the compromise involves this is something somebody wants. This is what I want. They don't quite meet. So let's say there's three things here that this person wants. There's three things that I want. They don't really line up. But let's see where, okay, you know what? I'll take this one off my list if you could take that one off your list so that we can find balance, so we can feel like we're interacting on an equal level. Um, that for me would be compromise. The adjustments are what you make and how you adapt to be able to create that compromise, right? So you really don't want to feel like you're sacrificing. And the sacrifice is where that box is overflowing and damaging other parts of your, your life box, where you're sacrificing your a healthy romantic relationship, or you're sacrificing time with your family, or you're sacrificing building strong connections with your friends for the sake of that career, for example. Hope that answers your question, Rajesh.